Hey, how are we doing everybody? This is Coffee Chug. Hey, another quick little tip here. So one of the beauties of this course in particular is that as we have conversations and engage in ideas and questions and back and forth communication through virtual hours and discord and, and whatnot, um, you know, new ideas come to light. So I want to give uh, a shout out to one of the participants of this group who was watching the welcome video and realized that I have my one account as an educator. And then I use a secondary email of mine that I have. It's actually my personal email that I use where I entered myself as a student. And so having yourself in, in both platforms, especially for this course, is going to really help you be able to sample and see what's going on or what things look like from a student perspective. So um, I'm making this the tip of the day, a little bonus tip here. So what I want you to think about is you're in this class as a student, so you are experiencing everything as if a student in your classroom would, would go through this. And so you have that. But hopefully what, I, what, what you have, if you haven't already created, is create a test Google Classroom. Just one for you to play around with. I call it the playground. I have a class. I just call it test. And then in there, have a secondary email account of yours and enroll that account as a student. That way you can post and test things as a teacher and then switch over accounts to the other email account and you can see what things look like as a student. And this is gonna give you this back and forth narrative that's gonna really prove to be helpful. Especially in this course here, as we're trying out tips and tricks and ideas, not just in classroom, but beyond, um, this is really gonna be helpful for you to try things out to figure out what works, do you like it, and then be able to then apply it to your actual classrooms uh, with the students that you're working with or just the Google tips in general. So just a quick little bonus tip there. If you haven't already done it, one, create a test Google Classroom with you as the teacher, obviously, and then use a secondary email account, whether you create just a, a student demo Gmail account, create just a generic one really quick, or use your personal one and enter yourself as a student, and then that way you can see the back and forth. All right, my friends, this is the beauty of it. Thanks for those that are leaving comments in the private comments and the chats and everything else. This is where that tip came from, and until next time, as always, stay awesome. Peace.